So AMD's Financial Analyst Day was March 5th in Santa Clara, California. And usually this is just something for the investors. But AMD really went over the top and released way more information than ever before. And this was to everyone's amazement. But before we jump into the video, let's hear a word from today's sponsor, Busy Future. Are you looking for a gaming mouse? The Moto Speed V70 gaming mouse comes in two different colors, black or silver. It also features resolutions from 500 DPI up to 12,000 DPI that can be adjusted by the lower button on top of the mouse. There is also a function button as well located right below the scroll wheel and you also get two standard click buttons on top and two more on the side just like most gaming mice. The V70 also has RGB lighting that looks pretty cool in the black version but looks even cooler on the silver model. The braided 1.8 millimeter cable is long enough to reach the back of your PC and there are two different models available and we'll have both those links down below. So check it out. Okay, now this entire conference most likely would have bored you to tears, but we break it down into a really nice digestible snack for you to feast on instead of torturing yourself with a three hour event. What I really see here is that AMD wants their investors to feel like they are on the right track and this is really apparent by the announcements that were made. Everyone in the know knows AMD is making trends in both the CPU and GPU market and making sales numbers never seen before for Team Red. Now as far as CPUs go, AMD talked about a new 3D die stacking design that AMD calls X3D. And this is most likely to compete with Intel's forthcoming Foveros 3D. Now AMD did not really go too in depth about this, but it's still big news and most likely the way chipset designs will go in the future. AMD also touched upon their AMD Infinity Fabric Generation, and this is more data focused, but their third generation Infinity Fabric will be able to get up to eight way GPU connections for shared cache. And it's just amazing to really see where AMD is taking things in this market. Now in the CPU market, AMD sales are just simply off the hook. I mean, really, they're just killing it right now. They've sold over 260 plus million Zen Core CPUs. Now, this number is based off all Zen-based processor generations. And remember, this is not actually CPU sales numbers, but just the amount of cores themselves that have been sold. But still, it's a whopping number. Taking a look at the Zen processor roadmap, AMD has officially confirmed Zen 4 and that it will be based on the 5 nanometer process. This is not really shocking news, but at least we now know it has been confirmed and no longer just a rumor. Now to me and most of you, GPUs are the most interesting thing. And I mean, this is the same for many gamers and AMD seriously did not disappoint in this department. You can see that AMD has also confirmed that the RDNA 2 based Navi that AMD is calling Navi 2, they said unfortunately though is not coming until the end of the year, which is a bummer. It was supposed to come out during the summer, but with driver issues and things like this, I guess, you know, delays are just to be expected. Now, one thing that's going to be interesting though, is that near the end of the year, they're saying that they're going to have cards all the way from the low end, all the way to the high end based on this Navi 2 tech. It's also apparent from the roadmap that moving forward, AMD will also adopt the same nomenclature and later we will see Navi 3 base cards as well. Another very interesting thing that AMD announced about their GPUs was a reveal about a new compute architecture called cDNA. AMD is trying to get the most out of their new GPUs and they have a strong commitment to bring forth many industry specific architectures. And this will be a very important step for them moving forward. The only problem is that GCN was an all around solution, but each industry requires different specifications. So even though AMD graphics card supported compute technology, you were essentially paying for features you really didn't even need as a gamer. I guess the real bummer here is that we're just going to have to wait for some of these new cards till the end of the year. Now another big question, and believe me this is on everybody's mind, is will AMD support hardware based ray tracing? And yes, AMD has finally confirmed that ray tracing will be available on all the Navi 2X branded cards. 
But really, what is probably most likely the most important announcement is what is seen in this slide that shows that RDNA2 will have a 50% performance per watt increase over RDNA1. And that is just nuts. This, however, is more about efficiency rather than performance, something that is definitely needed for competing with NVIDIA. And one of the reasons why they moved away from GCN altogether. Plus, this will also provide much more headroom for performance in their new cards. Now, last but not least, one thing that gamers have hated, and I mean, they've been hating on this for a long time, is blower style fans. I mean, these things are loud, they're really not all that efficient, and they've been around for a long time. So it's really time for a change. So AMD has confirmed on Reddit that no Navi 2 reference cards will use a blower design ever again. Praise the Lord, said the gamer. So all right, tech fans, that's the news for today. If you like what you've heard and like what you've seen, then hey, hit that sub button. We'd love to see you back here on the channel. Want to help support us? Try out Amazon Prime for free and support us without using any money whatsoever. You can also check us out on Patreon and also all the other social media platforms out there. Peace and be well.